Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April the 26th of 2021. Well, it is titled the Sagittarius triplet. So what do we see here? Well, these are three relatively bright nebulae in the constellation of Sagittarius. Now Sagittarius happens to be the constellation that is in the direction of the center of our galaxy, meaning that we're looking in the plane of our galaxy and seeing much more regions of dense star clouds and star forming regions and nebulae such as those that we see today. And in this case, we see three nebulae starting off down and towards the bottom which is M8 and that's known as the Lagoon Nebula. We see it has a distinct red color, which is the glowing of hydrogen gas. When hydrogen gas is excited, it, its electrons are removed or its single electron is removed, I should say. And as that electron recombines, it then goes through various energy levels. And each of those gives off a specific wavelength of light. And in the visible spectrum, hydrogen primarily gives off a red color. So a lot of the red glow that we see here is associated with hydrogen gas. And we see that specifically in the Lagoon Nebula. Now up to the upper right, we see the Trifid Nebula, uh, which is kind of divided into several pieces by dark dust lanes, giving it its name. We see again some of the red glow there that is due to hydrogen gas, but we also see a blue. Now the blue glow is caused by something else, and that's actually dust. So instead of exciting a gas and causing it to glow as we do here on Earth with things like neon in a tube uh, to excite them to use neon lighting here we do a sim here a similar thing happens in the hydrogen. However, the blue is actually just the reflection off of dust grains. So small dust grains will actually reflect light and preferentially reflect blue the shorter wavelength as compared to the longer red wavelengths. We also see some of the dark dust lanes where the dust is dense enough to block out light from behind it. So in the when the dust is not too dense, we can get the blue reflection nebula. And when it's denser, we can get the dark nebulae that we see scattered throughout this image. And as you see them within the Trifid Nebula, but you can see them elsewhere as well regions where there do not seem to be as many stars. However, since we're looking towards the direction of the center of our galaxy, every region here should have just as many stars and be cluttered with stars as the densest regions that we see. And the darker ones are simply areas where there is more dust and we cannot see through those regions. Now our third nebula here is another emission nebula known as NGC 6559. Now you notice that that is not named with a M catalog number from Charles Messier. He cataloged the brightest nebulae and galaxies and other bright objects that he saw. And you can note that the Lagoon Nebula and the Trifid Nebula are significantly brighter than NGC 6559. So it's still there, but it's not quite as easy to see with a small telescope. So likely why it got skipped when he was cataloging these. And of course, we now know of many thousands of nebulae. This is again a catalog designation. It is the 6,559th item within that catalog, which includes things like nebulae and star clusters and galaxies. So we get to see another one here. And that again is primarily a emission nebula showing that red glow due to hydrogen gas. So here looking towards the central regions of our galaxy, we see a number of nebulae and a number of regions that are actually associated with star formation in our galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for April the 26th of 2021. It was titled a Sagittarius triplet. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a star shredder. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.